G'day viewers, welcome to this week's PB's Retro Restorations. This week I'm doing the number 13 Dodge Wreck Truck that everyone's seen a million times. What some of you may not know is they also did a reversed colour scheme of this car first. So everything that was yellow was green, everything that was green that was yellow. Uh, and instead of being two bucks like this one, it's about two and a half thousand dollars. So we're going to have a bit of fun and I'm going to make my own tribute that won't cost me two and a half thousand dollars. And if you stay until the end of the video, I put a call out on Instagram and all those things asking any of my viewers who happen to have a PB's Retro Restoration shirt to send me a lovely picture of them wearing it. Some sent me lovely pictures, some people sent me other things, that's okay. Uh, so if you stick around to the end, I've got a little bit of a montage as a way of saying thank you to you all for getting involved, I really appreciate it. Uh, so let's get crack a lacking as they say in the towing industry, probably. Maybe. So this one is glorious times where I remember to drill my pilot holes for the tapping later. That was good. Bzzz. Now when it was going around on the turntable you probably noticed it was missing its little dome light. But when I picked it up at the diecast fair and gave it a little shake I could hear something rattling around inside. Which I'm assuming is that dome light. And lo and behold. Bingo. So that's great. It's been pushed down through the glass and smashed the glass, but hasn't actually cracked it anywhere that you can see it. So I'll be able to clean that up and reuse it. I won't have to buy a new dome light. I'll put all those little bits in a bag so I don't lose them. And um, all I'm going to need to have to buy is a new tow hook, which is good. eagle-eyed among you will see just how worn out this wire wheel I was trying to get my money's worth out of because they're so expensive <laughs> I just I don't know why I do it to myself viewers but anyway I did put a fresh one in shortly after this So being that the uh, structural integrity of this glass had been lost by being smashed through the top, I was on tenterhooks doing this. I thought, typical PB fashion, I'm going to be telling you all how I was doing such a good job and it was all going to plan for me and then snap. But for once, it didn't go snap and I was able to reuse it and everything came out well. So hooray for me. So, to me a grey primer, and then over the top of the grey primer I'm laying a coat of white enamel through my airbrush. Now I guess I want to make the yellow stand out a bit more, but I'm also cheating a bit with the decal placement, where you put the decals on the sides. Rather than having to make a whole square white decal, I'm just going to make the BP decal. And uh, hopefully that'll make it a bit easier for me. It'll make my decal stand out better, because my technology and means are limited for making high-end decals uh, but I was really pleased with the result so once I've masked off the side where I want it to stay white and not go yellow like the rest of it I spray some yellow on it. Now I know this yellow is miles too bright, it should be a dustier, paler yellow if it's to be 100% authentic. And Brian, it's not another yellow car, it's only half yellow this week so it doesn't really count. Um, but it was nice and even and it came out looking great and I was pleased with the result. So onto the ye olde mega dollar toothpick method and put my original black wheels. These wheels are in really good shape. I just wanted to make them look super fresh. So put them on the ends of a toothpick, clip them in the alligator clips and 
away we go. So the dome line on the top was a little bit worse for wear as you would be too if you've been smashed through the roof of a car by some mongrel kid playing with their toys. Um, so I just gave it a touch of Tamiya Red Clear over the top and it brought up looking spiffy. I didn't film myself painting it green but you can see I did because it's green. <laughs> now I'm just going over the top with some clear. Uh, I did this with the yellow part as well after I put the decals on so it all looks much shinier than it ever did from Matchbox but it'll look nice on my shelf. So it wouldn't be a PB video if something didn't go wrong and this is one of those times. Yep, straight through like an idiot even after I taped it off. I just, it goes to show you that there's no preventing stupid. Uh, I should, wasn't watching. I, I taped it off so I wouldn't go through and I still managed to do it but I only left a little hole on the other side and I decided I was just going to cop it. Not going to lie to you viewers, I wasn't. We're not going to strip it again. Um, I'm just going to wear it. Okay, so reassembly time. Now I'm using white glue to hold the dome light in because, being that the dome light is held in by the glass and the glass is smashed and there's nothing to hold it in there anymore, I'm having to resort to some glue. That's okay. I got it all over it, <laughs> but I cleaned it up with the cotton bud it's only white glue really so it just you can wash it off with water it's all good now Ben Brian I know you reached out to me about getting me to show you the process for forming the wheels over again and um, I'd already filmed this uh, when you ask. So I'm sorry I'm not showing it clearly in this one uh, but I've got another dinky coming up soon which I will and I'll do my best to show it properly. Look at that, it even rolls. I'm going to screw the top on and we are just about there. I do try to use um, a duller, less chrome effect for doing these details because the originals were never shiny like this. Um, and I figured, well, it's a custom, it, it won't hurt to use the Molotov here. I did the taillights as well. So now that bit of detailing's done, the only thing we need is a tow hook. And here it is. Shout out to my Canadian viewers, Andrew, Neil, and everyone else. Uh, there'll always be a little piece of Canada here in Australia, uh, even if it's just living on the back of my tow truck. <laughs> um, nice piece. It took less than a month to get from Canada. A bit of flash on it, and it's a bit of a loose fit, but that's okay. It's living in my cabinet, not in a sand pit. And uh, if I could put it around the right way, we will all be done just like that. So here we are back at the start with my $2 diecast fair find. I thought it was incredibly good value being that other than the tow hook it was complete. That beacon was uh, just smashed into the internals and hadn't fallen out so that was good. Uh, so the paint was a bit tired but that didn't really matter because I wanted to do my own reverse colour scheme as we discussed and as you've seen me do. And this is what we started with and this is what we're left with now. Ta-da! Looking resplendent in its new reverse colour scheme and the eagle-eyed amongst you probably noticed earlier in the video. But Do you see what I've done? I reversed the BP sticker as well. What's BP backwards? I'll tell you it's PB. So it's a really completely reverse Dodge Rec truck. It's now the PB Dodge Rec truck. 
and I'm really pleased with this and my sense of humor it's second to none that's why you keep coming back right right anyway I hope you like this one I had a lot of fun doing it uh, I'll stop gibbering let you watch the still shots and don't forget to stick around and see if your photo made it into my montage I know your life wouldn't be worth living if it wasn't So this week I put out a call on Instagram and my other social media channels uh, to send me a picture of yourselves wearing your PB's Retro Restoration shirts and here are the ones that I got. We're kicking off with Nathan and Cassie, the couple that watches PB together stays together and don't they look wonderful in their PB shirts. I know the kids love it too. Nathan even got a photo of himself with world famous DJ Marshmallow, which is an actual thing if you don't know who DJ Marshmallow is. So you might be thinking, what does Christopher Hemsworth and his family on beautiful Makepeace Island have to do with PB's Retro Restorations? Well the answer is everything because Mr and Mrs PB managed to get ourselves invited out to Makepeace Island, so here we are on the same bridge reproducing the shot. Of course I'm playing the Christopher Hemsworth role. Who else could do it so convincingly? Uh, thank you Deb, thank you Andrew, thank you Kathy, thank you Stuart for a weekend we'll, we'll not soon forget. And now we've got these two young alcoholics, Dave and Steve. Good job boys, you're looking great. Steve in his natural environment hanging out at kids parks by himself getting photo bombed by kids. Good job. So here's the legendary Paul, my father-in-law, you've heard me talk about many times on my videos, exposing himself at work. Good job, Paul. So here's Noah in his shirt looking good, and here's his dad, Andrew, in his shirt looking good. And what's the magic that's bringing these father and son team closer together? Why, well, it's PB's Retro Restorations, of course. What else could it be? Here we've got another Steve with a beer in his hand. Looking good, Steve. They say you shouldn't get too close to your idols, but the look on his face tells me something different. He's like he's seen the face of God and all his hopes and all his dreams have all come all at once. So here's Dan showing once again that PB's shirts are, you know, multi-purpose. You can use them drinking, you can use them shopping when you're buying orange juice. Good on you, Dan. Thanks for spreading the word to the uninitiated. Here's the queen of first posts, Pav. Decorating a Christmas tree and her fellow Luke cooking up a storm. It's just lovely to see another young couple brought together over their love of PB's retro restorations. So here's young Jack looking smooth in his sunnies and shirt. Every young man needs a hero, someone to look up to. And I guess Jack's found his idol. Good on you, Jack. With looks, determination, some male pattern baldness. Maybe you can be like me too one day, champ. Good on you. So don't forget, December 5th, final dibs build for the year. It's Christmas theme. Ho, ho, ho. Jingle all the way and all that stuff. So thanks for taking the time out of your day to watch this video. I really appreciate you dropping by. If you've liked it enough to like it, give it a like or a thumbs up or whatever. Uh, maybe share it uh, if you'd like to consider subscribing. I'd appreciate that too. Stay safe. I will see you next Friday at 9.15. I'm not sure what it is, but it'll be something. It'll always be something. Thank you, everybody. I'll see you then. Bye.